Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Chipmist here and today we are going to be taking a look at Windows 8. So Windows 8 is out in the market now. We have the professional version, we have the home edition and every other edition that's available all right in the market. You can go ahead and purchase it right now from the links in the description below. Or if you just want to test it out, you can also go ahead and do that. So we are going to be taking a look at the Windows 8 Professional Edition 64-bit. So I have right in front of me the 64-bit edition and as you can see it's pretty cool, it's pretty smooth and we have the new Metro UI right here. So the first thing you will notice the start menu is totally changed. It's the new Metro UI which was usually found in Windows Phone 7 and now we have it on Windows 8. So uh, what is new in this? Well you have the apps which are in forms of tiles and we have the live updating tiles which update every second to give you latest updates and news and we have the new incorporated Metro UI apps such as store, internet explorer, maps, SkyDrive, calendar, desktop which is your own desktop, we have the messaging app, we have people's app, we have mail, we have photos and we have weather. So uh, there are a lot of apps here, you also have a store which you can go ahead and download new apps we have the games which you can control Xbox Live games from here. You have the Xbox controller built in throughout it. We have the camera if you want to take a look at your webcam or something. We have music and we have video. So let's go ahead and check out some of the apps here. Uh, for starting I'm going to check out uh, weather. So weather uses your uh, current location uh, to check it out. And as you can see I'm on the weather app right now. So as you can see there was some lag on it which is uh, kind of new, I've never noticed that before and this is the first time I'm noticing it. So let's go ahead and check out the app itself. So basically what it is, is it shows you the current location weather. I'm in State College, Pennsylvania, so it's showing me College Township. And this is all Bing weather. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty amazing here. We have a snowstorm on Tuesday, so it's uh, it says it's gonna snow. And uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and go into hourly forecast. We have the hourly forecast here. You can go ahead and get up to 24 hours of hourly forecast. And we have uh, other things like maps. So you can see different kind of maps, historical weather and stuff. So what is this? This is an advertisement and advertisement inside Windows, which is really bad move on Microsoft part. I don't know what they were trying to do, but I don't know why they did this. Uh, getting along with it, uh, we have Internet Explorer. Let's go ahead and check it out. So this is pretty cool. This is one of the best features I like about it. Although the browser sucks, the only thing I like about this is you can go ahead and browse full screen. So I can go ahead and click on YouTube here and go ahead and uh, go to my channel. And as you can see, the channel is full screen. There is absolutely no bar. It is edge to edge. That's the best thing I like about Windows 8. You can browse edge to edge and all the Metro UI apps are edge to edge so probably you won't be missing much on any kind of the apps and I'm running this on Mac uh, on a virtual machine it's working perfectly and yeah so that's pretty much about what it is in the Metro UI. We can go ahead and check out the desktop now so here is the desktop. So here we have the Windows Explorer as you can see some of the themes and stuff has been changed not much changes there. Uh, the most prominent change which everyone notices is that there is no start button here. We have the start Metro UI. So when you hover over there on the bottom left corner, uh, it will take you to the start menu. And uh, if you want to hover over to the top uh, bottom right corner, we have the quick access menu. So you can go ahead and search, you can go ahead and share. You have the devices option, you have the start menu option and you have the settings. So if you click on settings, you can change most of the stuff uh, which you would probably want to directly from here. You can go ahead and access settings from here. So I can go ahead and click on personalization and would open up uh, the personalization tab. So yeah, that is pretty much uh, about the same things at Windows 7. It's just uh, shortcuts and stuff. So uh, this is a quick look at Windows 8. I'll have a lot of videos coming up ahead. So be sure to subscribe to the channel above, like clicking the subscribe link above this video. And if you are feeling like being awesome, click on the like button down below. It really helps me out a lot. So uh, you can also go ahead and follow me on Twitter for latest news and updates. And uh, subscribe to the channel above for all of my new videos coming up ahead. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.